Excellent. Thank you so much, Dr. Herbert. We are actually going to take questions at the end of this Great. panel. Um, so I'll go ahead and turn off your mic, if I can. And so we're going to hear from um, two new speakers now uh, about Altmetric at University of Michigan. Uh, so we're going to hear from Rebecca Welsenbach and Christopher Billick, who uh, both work at the University of Michigan and have been working with us to uh, implement Altmetric at their university. Uh, so by way of introduction, Rebecca is a research impact librarian at the University of Michigan. She leads and supports a range of bibliometric and research impact projects and services and works closely with other units across the university to compile bibliometric and altmetrics data that demonstrate the impact of UM faculty research that support ethical use of this information in decision making and provide expert guidance to faculty and graduate students on managing and boosting their research profiles. Rebecca earned her BA in English Literature from Illinois Wesleyan University and her Master of Science from the University of Michigan. Christopher Billick is a magna cum laude graduate of the University of Michigan School of Art and Design. He then joined Skidmore Studio in Detroit, founding their digital practice and serving on the management team for 10 years as director of interactive media. He then made the transition to higher ed, joining Washtenaw Community College. My apologies to any Michiganders uh, among you for just mangling that. Um, uh, but so Christopher was the director of web services there, and he led an award-winning team of designers, developers, and multimedia content creators. Integrating experience from both IT and marketing, Christopher became the first digital strategy director at the Office for the Vice President of Communications at University of Michigan. So without any further ado, we're going to hand it over to Rebecca and Christopher. Welcome. Great. Thanks, Stacy. Everyone can hear me okay? Yep, you sound great. Great. Okay. Um, so as Stacy said, I'm the research impact librarian at the University of Michigan. This is a new role for me. I've been in it about six months. So the description you heard is a little bit aspirational, but um, I'm excited about the, the future here. Before that, I worked in the Michigan Publishing Division of our library. Um, so that will play into a bit about what I'm going to say. Um, I'm going to start by giving some context just about the University of Michigan and our sort of history and experience with Altmetric, and then we'll turn it over to Christopher, who's going to um, offer sort of a case study or an example. Uh, next slide, please, Stacey. The University of Michigan is one of the top public research universities in the world, and it's got, um, it's very decentralized. There are 19 different schools and colleges, um, pretty much any professional or academic area you can imagine. We've got a strong um, background in. It's a large school, although not the largest, um, and it spreads across three campuses, our flagship in Ann Arbor, as well as uh, smaller campuses in Dearborn and Flint. And uh, notably in fiscal year 2017, the university received almost $993 million in um, external research funding. So as you can imagine, it's uh, really important, really on everyone's mind to be able to speak uh, clearly and well about the impact that um, all this money and, and this work going on on our campus is having um, in the state of Michigan and on the world. Next slide, please. Next slide. Uh -oh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, so the University of Michigan's relationship with Altmetric started in 2015 when Michigan Publishing first started a pilot um, with the Altmetric Explorer for Publishers tool. Um, so that was specific to research outputs um, published by our unit. That includes the University of Michigan Press, as well as some other um, sort of more library and service open access oriented initiatives. Um, so we were tracking about 5,000 research outputs um, that might be authored by people anywhere in the world as long as they were published by us. And we had access to the Explorer dashboard, but only two seats. I had one of those. So I was able to start digging into the data and creating reports and trying to share it with others. But it was uh, very mediated. Um, it made it difficult for others outside of, of me and my one colleague to really engage with the tool and understand its value. So now in 2018, we're in the middle of a one-year pilot for um, 
a slightly different tool, Altmetric Explorer for Institutions. And this is really a joint effort across campus. The, uh, the pilot is funded by our library, our central office of research, um, our medical school's separate office of research, our information technology services, and our communications department. Um, so lots of different sort of perspectives on um, how this tool might have value and, and willingness to give it a try. We're now tracking about 224,000 research outputs, um, and these are research um, that is authored by or affiliated with any current University of Michigan affiliate. Um, so not just published by a single publisher, but um, authored by anyone, published anywhere associated with our university. And then the really huge opportunity is that we have Altmetric Explorer seats for everyone. Any person associated with the University of Michigan um, in Ann Arbor, Flint, Dearborn can access this dashboard and get this great um, exciting data and start to play around with it, create reports, track their own progress um, or other people's well, other departments, you know, um, get in there. So that's really exciting for us. And we're sort of really just digging into what this will mean for our, our campus. Uh, next slide, please. So as we're in the middle of this experimental space, we're facing a few challenges and also some really exciting opportunities. Um, the big thing is really just the complexity of all of these systems. At Michigan, our Altmetrics pilot is tied in with um, a campus-wide rollout of symplectic elements and Dimensions Plus. And the way that these tools can all communicate with one another is um, very exciting and a huge opportunity, but also quite complex. It can be hard for us sometimes as librarians and, and staff um, to understand ourselves and definitely to communicate to our constituents sort of where any given piece of information is coming from. If something is missing or wrong or confusing, it can be tricky to sort of track back like, okay, where is that data stored? Where is it being pulled from? How would we actually even go about improving it. Um, likewise, encountering a lot of complexity within our own organization. I mentioned that we're very decentralized. Um, we're in the midst right now of sort of filling out and refining our organizational hierarchy and faculty appointments and everything in the Symplectic Elements tool. That's an elements issue, not an altmetric one, but because that same sort of tree and hierarchy is what gets displayed in altmetrics, um, in altmetrics, sorry, in the Explorer, um, if there's something wrong or missing or, um, not quite right in elements, it's very visible in Altmetric. And that's where people are tending to see it and sort of shout about it right now. Um, often it's a problem with our own data or not even a problem with our data, but just disagreement about which version is authoritative. Um, and so that's been interesting. Altmetric is, it's not a problem with the tool, but it's a challenge in sort of being excited about this new tool, which then reveals flaws in our own existing systems. Always interesting challenges there. Um, we're trying to train people on using the Explorer and what it might be good for, which means sort of targeting the right audiences at the right time. The way we talk to an administrator in a unit in the medical school um, might be quite different from how we talk to a tenured faculty member in comparative literature. So um, I particularly find myself sort of at the middle of that and shaping our message for, for the right people, giving them what they need and what, what matters to them. And then um, finally, we have a really kind of a short time frame to demonstrate the value of this tool. Um, we I've indicated greater than a year, I meant less than a year, I got my arrow backwards, um, but we need to be able to show um, how important it is and make a case for continuing our use of it um, in the next few months, really. So I'm starting to think a lot about that. Opportunities that we've discovered, um, huge opportunity with the dozens of communications offices that we have across our campus. Um, those staff are thinking all the time about how to tell the story of our campus. And so they have been eager allies, excited to jump in and experiment with this tool, ask questions, learn more, experiment, talk to folks at Altmetric. Um, so they have been great sort of ambassadors and allies for us. The new Altmetric API makes it pretty straightforward for different um, units on campus to create their own kind of customized query or feed and integrate that into their own website. Um, that's important for them, so that's great. We're excited to see the ways that Altmetric data can help us make you know, a case for the importance and the use of our institutional repository, just as um, Bruce Herbert was talking about. And finally, I think like many universities, we have a, a presidential initiative right now that is attending to faculty public engagement. Um, so that's great uh, to be piloting a tool that is sort of um, explicitly and directly tied to something that our university president has said he is interested in. Um, so it's a really good moment for us to be testing out this tool and sort of making it visible and um, getting input and feedback and sort of pushing that information forward. So we're excited about that. And with that, I will hand over to Christopher, who will um, show you know, some examples of, of what we've been doing with this tool. All right, thank you. Um, 
So um, as we said, um, in communications, uh, the Office of Communications, we are very interested in promoting faculty research, uh, both to the state and to the world. Um, and so as we look um, at Altmetric Explorer, uh, the question that we asked is, what can we do with this data? Um, and there's, you all know a lot of the things that you can do with it. And what I wanna focus on especially is um, how we can display these results uh, on a website uh, via the API. Um, if we can go to the next slide, please. Um, so we were incredibly excited to uh, get access to Altmetric um, approximately a week after the new API was published. Um, and so the first thing that we did uh, was put it on um, the website that we call uh, the University Gateway, which is uh, umich.edu, on the uh, research topic page. Um, if we could go to the next slide, please. Uh, this site gets over 23 million page views per year. Um, and so this seemed like a great place um, to start highlighting research. Uh, and something that we say on this page, um, we're showing, um, looking at uh, all the university outputs, uh, we're finding outputs that have attention uh, just in the last week. Um, then we're displaying the top 25 of those outputs um, ranked by attention in the last week. Uh, and we found that that gives us a very good mix of ever-changing research, uh, depending on what uh, might be uh, topical in the past week or so. Um, but this represents a tiny fraction of the, I checked this morning, more than 228,000 uh, research outputs um, produced by our academic community here. Um, and of course, this data uh, refreshes on the API uh, every night. Uh, if we can go to the next slide. Uh, as Rebecca said, our president uh, has made um, a big initiative uh, for uh, working with faculty, public engagement, and impact. Um, and so this was also a natural fit um, to talk about on the public engagement website. Um, so this is the same, same view or same data set uh, with a slightly different view. Um, so at the University of Michigan, um, Every school and college runs their own website. Um, many departments and centers uh, also uh, run their own websites. Um, and we have, um, there's a multitude of uh, content management systems, um, but in the Office of Communications, uh, we've built a lot of sites on the WordPress platform. Um, and so if we can go to the next slide. Um, when you go to um, export, your search uh, in the Altmetric API, uh, you get a very scary looking page like this uh, with what we developers love uh, as a JSON output. Um, but as a communicator on campus, uh, the only thing you need to be concerned about uh, is that URL at the very top. Um, if we could go to the next slide. Uh, so we have written a uh, WordPress plugin uh, that anyone on campus uh, can download and install into their website. And in fact, um, we offer this uh, through the uh, MIT uh, license. Uh, so if you go to that URL, um, actually anyone, if they find this plugin useful for WordPress, can uh, download and use it on their site. Uh, if we can go to the next site, please, or next page, please. Um, so again, um, those of you familiar with WordPress, you can download a zip uh, of this plugin and then upload it to your site. Um, also, if you use a different CMS, uh, for instance, Drupal or something else, um, you could also uh, take a look at the source code and modify it uh, as, as you may find necessary. Uh, if we can get to the next slide, please. So um, for our communicators, um, WordPress has the concept of what's called a short code, which is basically a line of text in square brackets. Um, and at the, its most simplest, uh, you would just copy that short code and insert that URL that you received from Altmetric Explorer, uh, hit save, and um, everything um, that um, you saw in those previous slides appears on the page. Uh, so the title, the donut, the summary, 
uh, and the link through to uh, our institution's uh, altmetric view. Uh, if we go to the next slide. Um, so in the editor, um, it really is just uh, one line with a URL and you're done. Uh, and so we're finding that um, many units on campus uh, are really interested not only in reporting uh, on altmetric data, but including it uh, on their website to show their stakeholders and their audiences um, the good work that their, their faculty members are doing. And uh, that is it for me.